what's going on in today's video i want to do an updated video of my old kiosk with windows 10 and a cellist so students are not able to go to other websites or or open other applications when they're doing their work i'm going to do now windows 11 and now it's called assigned access i'm also going to show you how to change your license from windows 11 home to windows 11 pro or education since that's what's required in order for you to gain or to unlock assigned access. So let's get started. Okay, so one thing you gotta be responsible for is finding a Windows 11 Pro key. So you'll either have to buy it directly from Microsoft or from a store that sells those keys, but you'll have to do your research as far as that goes. Once you have the Windows 11 Pro key or Windows 11 Education key, just go to your Start Menu Settings. And here we want to go to Activation. And Mine's already activated on Windows 11 Education, but all you have to do is click on Change. You'll enter the key that you get after you purchase it. You hit Next, you activate, and your Windows 11 Home will go from being Home to the Pro Edition or to the Education Edition. And that's it. That's as easy as it gets. So let's go to our Start Menu, go to Settings. Go to accounts, scroll down to other users. And here, let's click on get started under set up a kiosk. And I'm going to name the kiosk Acellis. Hit next. And we're going to select Microsoft Edge as the app that can be used. So we're going to hit next. So in this part, I, on the last video, I was saying to do as a public browser, but we want to do as a digital sign or interactive display. Hit next. And we're going to enter the URL of www.acellus.com. And it, restart Microsoft Edge after someone has not used it for. I'm going to just put the maximum amount of time, 18 hours, hit next. And it says we're all done. So when in kiosk mode, we just have to hit control or delete to exit. So it's close. Another thing to keep in mind that you should do is you shouldn't allow your student to have the password to your main admin account. Otherwise, there's no point in setting up kiosk mode. So let's hit start menu and let's sign into a cellus. We're going to hit sign in. Let's give it a moment while it sets up. So as you can see, the computer once signed in only gets access to a cellus website. There's no new tab on top on the top. So your student will have to sign in and they can't open anything else. So another issue that somebody else reported was that within a set list, one of the subjects gives a YouTube link. Unfortunately, this doesn't block that. So there's ne there needs to be some type of accountability from both a parent and student, if we block YouTube completely, then that class is not going to work. So this is pretty much as good as it gets. They can open any new tabs and hopefully it helps you out. So let me know down in the comments if it works for you or if you have any issues. And I'll see you soon.